Hey guys, so today's video is going to be another girl problem and it's not going to be a beauty one but it's going to be on the topic of money, money, money and this isn't just a girl problem, I think this is an everybody problem but I think that this is something that you know we should address as women, as girls to really get our game up and we like pretty things, we like designer clothes, we like good food, we like makeup and all of this costs money and I get asked, asked a lot about you know how do I manage my money, what do I do with it, how do I make it, how do I keep it and I feel like I'm in a position to really talk about this subject because I find it it's a really important subject to me and I've been blessed enough to be able to buy a home alongside my husband with a house in London and a house in London is not cheap but I really feel that it's possible for everybody and I decided that I must talk about the principles of money and really just kind of managing it well and preparing for the future. Anyway, so let's just, you know, start a little blurb. So let's find the problem. I find that there are people who they get money in but literally it's out of their hands like sad it just like Psh, where's the money I don't know where my money's gone but they get it in and it's just gone and then you've got people who just never get enough money and they just can't seem to ever make them ends meet um, when they're dealing with it the first things first is just address your intentions now i always have a bigger plan like when i get money money is not just about oh that means i can buy a new shoe oh i can buy a new bag what is my bigger plan if i talk about my bigger plan my bigger plan is to own property my bigger plan is to be able to put my kids in a good school my bigger plan is to be able to give to people who don't necessarily have as much as they would like my bigger plan is also from a christian perspective to give back into the kingdom and ensure that i can help the kingdom grow but that is for me personally and when i have that vision and that thought of money i have i do not take my money lightly i don't think it's a case of oh i've got money spend it on myself and um just you know waste money because when you have that bigger plan and that bigger focus of your finances you are going to be a lot more respectful of the money that you receive and a lot of people don't have any respect for money and you know they have it spend on beers and then they're broke at the end of the month i know so many people like that so Develop your bigger picture. Your bigger picture could be, I want to pay to go to university for myself without getting a student loan. I want to buy a car um, in the next two years. I want to be able to travel two times a year and whatever. So develop that bigger picture and that gives you a goal to manage your money. My next piece of advice is to work out every single source of income if you've got a job then that's your source of income if you do like an online business that's your sort of source of income if you've got your parents that's your source of income work out what your sources of income are and actually how can you increase your sources of income and this does not matter your age i remember that i got my first job when i was about you know 15 16 or yeah about 15 16 but i also did this thing i used to give away better wear catalogs when i was young and the next door neighbor used to like pay loads of us kids but you used to get like 20 pounds 50 pounds to basically put these catalogs through people's doorknobs doorknobs people's doors so i was working and i was doing that thing and i also used to do hair at school and at every lunchtime i'd have a queue of girls who wanted their hair braided and i would be charging yeah, me little old self braiding people's hair and charging five pounds every time i did girls hair and i had like regular customers for two three years that was the way i had multiple different sources of income and i think if you've got a skill if you bake cakes if you make clothes or accessories or jewelry you use that and you maximize that and make it a source of income as well as a source of fun my next piece of advice is about spending beyond your means and credit now i am somebody who like i haven't i don't like credit and i don't like expenses and i feel that it is really an enemy of progress which is one of my favorite terms and i know so many people have got themselves into positions where they just owe so much money that every time they've got money it's just disappearing they've got credit cards they've got bills they've got loans where you can 
avoid getting credit basically live within your means live below your means not that you live in poverty but for instance if you have the choice between the really expensive watch or the nice watch but it's cheaper choose that one in the meantime and think about your bigger picture so whenever you feel that you having to compromise think about your bigger picture and that will really really help don't get into the cycle of credit and debt all in the name of shoes, bag and clothes. No, no, no. So once you have your sources of income, the next thing to do is to spread it. And um, like, I literally mean physically spread it. Don't keep it in one account, keep it in different locations in terms of how you spread it apart. And for me, I always feel that it's really important to separate certain money, not for yourself get into the habit of either giving to a charity or giving to a family member or sacrificing a little bit of what you have without expecting it back and giving it out also in terms of spreading your money what you need to do is have a what i call my disposable income that's the amount i'm allowed to spend on clothes and shoes and random crap every month versus the stuff that goes towards my deposit for my property the stuff that goes towards me giving to somebody else my money that goes towards um all my expenses my phone bill my internet bill all that kind of stuff separate that out and then you'll see what you've got left to work with for the month when you've got what you've got left to work with for the month you can work out okay each week i spend 50 pounds each week I spend 10 pounds it you know who knows what you got it depends next piece of advice is always watch your money and how you spend some of us we just get our cards out and we're like doo, doo, doo. Ooh, doo. put that card in buy that buy that and we're just spending 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 and we don't realize how much we're actually spending and um how our balance is going low 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 then you realize you're in your overdraft and then you're oh gosh fines here and there like no 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 watch your money online banking telephone banking check that account i check my bank account actually i don't check my bank account that much but do check your bank account regularly another great thing to do actually is to take out cash take out a certain amount per week or per month for say this is my cash that card fling that card away put that on the side don't use that card until next month comes or next payment comes and ensure that that cash amount that you've got is all you spend don't spend over that unless you need to my final piece of advice when it comes to money is a little bit fluffy but it is really a principle that i i truly live by and it's this principle of you know not to live in fear and that fear is what i call false evidence appearing real as joyce meyer puts it and it's a case of sometimes because you don't have you're you're so scared you're so tight with your money but you still never have i sometimes think if you just sometimes release like give to somebody else even when maybe you have to sacrifice yourself for a little bit or invest in yourself buy that thing for yourself that you're going to use to i don't know build something and some people won't invest in their businesses or their ideas because they're scared of losing the money no 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 invest in it and if you invest and you sow you will also reap what you sow obviously don't go and start gambling and hope for you know it to double up by 50 million times but definitely invest in your own life and you will reap financially for sure so guys i hope you enjoyed that girl problems it's very very different for me um doing that one actually but i really wanted to share from my heart what i truly believe and think is really really important life principles and for whatever you want to see next put a comment below and we'll do that in the next girl problems so thanks for watching guys bye